I had written a lot of nonfiction books. One of them was Il Datore, The Double Life of a Mafia Doctor. And uh, in writing that, this uh, doctor, the main character of that book, and this was a true, true story, was an ambiguous personality. On the one hand, he saves lives, and on the other hand, he's an inveterate gambler and sex addict, uh, etc. So the moral ambiguity of that, that uh, rip uh, was interesting to me. And also, uh, you don't find doctors like that one to write books about all the time. And I preferred fiction. I thought fiction gave me more um, freedom, freedom to, to, uh, to deviate from facts and be more creative and put my characters in situations that aren't necessarily real, but that are usually surreal and edgy. And then I thought about Hemingway, and I looked at a few of his books, uh, you know, For Whom the Bell Tolls or uh, Farewell to Arms, and in an odd way they were autobiographical. Now, whether these instances happened to him or they didn't, you know, that's anybody's guess. But what I realized is you could inject certain parts of your own life into a fictional character and have it be um, probably more real, and then take that character and put them in, in creative situations and uh, create an, a credible intensity where that character really rises up and becomes more powerful, the greater the pressure the greater the stress in the scenes. And so Jack Madsen came a little bit out of my own background. It's true I was a Golden Gloves fighter and studied jiu-jitsu. It's true that I was a, a federal marshal for a period of time. It's true that I was a, a corporate executive. So I've had those experiences. And uh, so they became back part of uh, the Madsen background. Now, I never killed anyone, at least that I admit to. And uh, I don't get in fights every day, just some of the times. But uh, Madsen is a, a sort of exaggerated figure, a protagonist that, uh, that really begs the question, you know, almost asks for it. And uh, in the world we live in, this Kafka society that we live in, you don't have to ask too many times to look for trouble and find it. And so Madsen has plenty of that. And this is one of the things that uh, is, is uh, interesting about the character. Also, another fellow that uh, helped me with that was Bill Bonanno, who gave me the idea and the story for what became the Mob Doctor television series. I found uh, Bill an interesting character in many ways, and again, an ambiguous figure. Some people really, truly hated him. Law enforcement really, truly hated him. But I got to know him very well on another level and found him to be a man with different values and uh, a person that was very stalwart in their uh, belief in those in that value system. It just didn't happen to be everyone else's. And, uh, and so a lot of Jack Madsen comes again from that ambiguity. Um, Jack Madsen's father in the Kafka Society um, blows his head off in a suicide when Madsen is nine. Now, of course, nothing like that happened to me, but it really sets it sets this character from a very young age into a kind of uh, hysteria where everything he sees has a different look to it than what everybody else sees. And so complexity, uh, violence, a huge sexual appetite, a huge appetite for drugs and, and, uh, and uh, liquor, these are all part of a character who is intrinsically a good man, just with values that are maybe antiquated, values that maybe go back to medieval times and knights and chivalry and things of that nature. And uh, for all of those reasons, Jack Madsen was born in a creative process that uh, became a kind of stew of uh, real and fictitious uh, situations. But one way or the other, what I'm pleased about is I enjoy writing about Jack Madsen a lot of people enjoy reading about him too.